In this tutorial, we'll go over the basics of the estimating section of a project. Estimating is where you build the estimated project costs by extending out the takeoff quantities by a material cost and labor rate. These quantities can come directly from an on-screen takeoff or by manually adding on the estimating screen. Here you can see the part or assembly name, and you'll notice on some there is a blue expandable arrow next to it. This means that this item is a multi-layered assembly, and if you click the arrow, you can see the subcomponent. To the right, in blue, you can see the quantity, material cost, and labor rate, which are all adjustable, and total cost and total labor in black, which are extensions of the previous cells, and automatically updated as the quantities, cost, and labor rates are adjusted on a per project basis. As you move down the screen, you'll notice the project is organized into groups or phases that were set up during the takeoff. You can build additional groups here and also move items between the groups with a simple drag and drop. Below each group, there's a material and labor total for all the items in the group, which updates as you move items around. Here you can add your company's fully burdened composite crew rate which is an hourly cost or average for a typical work crew. This rate is then multiplied by the number of labor hours to get your total labor cost. Below that, you can see the total material cost and in red, the total project direct cost. To the right, you have adjustable profit margin percentages that you can adjust to increase or decrease the sales price of the project. Next, you can add overhead and include a discount percentage, taxes, and bonding. Above the summary section, you'll find the additional notes section. This is where you can add project scope of work, inclusions, exclusions, and any relevant project notes like billing schedules or terms and conditions. Lastly, click show bid to display a customer facing quote with your company logo, contact information, and pricing broken out with as much or as little detail as you prefer with a customer signature line. In this example, we're displaying a lump sum bid, and this quote can be exported in PDF format and emailed to your customer for review and approval.